Last preseason game of the year. Let's go to the film room. So, folks, Emmanuel quickly returned to action, and while he didn't look the greatest offensively as a scorer, he did his job as the point guard of the team. Had 10 assists tonight, making beautiful passes out of the pick and roll like this one to Ochai. His connection with Jakob Pertl is superb. Here he is drawing two, making the very quick read to Pertl. That's bad defense by Ben Simmons, by the way. I love this hesitation move. Little quick in and out to get downhill. Nice cut by Jamal Shedd, and he finishes. I will say, really interesting that the Raptors went to multiple different lineups that included Davion Mitchell and Jamal Shedd, or Jamal Shedd and Emmanuel Quickly, or Davion Mitchell and Emmanuel Quickly. I would imagine... We see a lot of those this season. And he's great in transition looking for his teammates because of his own scoring gravity there. Here he is, you know, settles into the three-point shot before kicking it to Grady for his three. Once again, using his shooting gravity, even from, I don't know, five feet out, does the pump, gets Cam Johnson off his spot. The help has to close out. He makes a nice pass to Bruno Fernando. Same thing in transition here, using his gravity and quickness to find a shot for Jamal Shedd. And that is a great sign, Jamal Shedd hitting a three. But this was, this was probably my favorite play of the game. And it was one of the first from him being able to draw two in the pick and roll and also see over top of the defense to find Pirtle who finishes inside. Um, Pirtle had a great game. Pirtle continues to have a lot of great games. I have a piece on Raptors Republic out right now, actually. For the people who are watching uh, tonight, it'll be out tomorrow morning. Um, Pirtle continues to be great. I think his connection with Emmanuel quickly will only help his game so much more. The connection that they have in the pick and roll is seamless. Uh, quickly has this great, great chemistry with him. You could already see that on display early in this game. So quick was good. Quick was great. Um, I, I mean, obviously, I think offensively, the shooting, the scoring and all that type of stuff that will eventually come. The man had not played in any preseason games. This was literally his first and only preseason game. So bear with him for a second once he gets his kind of offensive wheels working, especially in that second half. He looked much more comfortable. What I want to highlight tonight, this is the, the main thing I wanted to talk about in this film room was Ochai Abaji. I've talked about this before, and if you've been watching these film rooms for a while, you'll remember that I said, like, the archetype Ochai should try to follow is the Bruce Brown type, which, uh, for his position, really great screener, really great rim runner, uh, able to kind of, like, create in the short roll with his passing. Bruce would be in these really unique lineups in Brooklyn that use them as a screener and a rim runner. Uh, and it's not a surprise to me that one of the people that Darko Ryakovic wrote about was Bruce Brown. And it's not a surprise to me that he sees some of the similarities in Ochai Abaji's game. Ochai had 16 points tonight, and a lot of them was just being really aware of where he was positionally. Great slip here on the empty side pick and roll and finishes in traffic through contact. Here he is recognizing the breakdown in the defense and cutting to the basket. I love when Jakob Pertl connects with Ochai Abaji because it's a willing passer and a willing cutter connecting at the same time. Two players who are selfless in that way, and that was an and one for Ochai. In transition, we know what Ochai can do. He can get up, and he does a great job of filling lanes. And once again here, pseudo transition, you know, this great passer that is Scotty Barnes commands so much attention and finds the cutter in Ochai. And so it's a, it's a weird combination of the Raptors are uniquely positioned to benefit a guy like Ochai Abaji because they have the great passers and a Yaka Pirtle and a Kelly Olynyk in a Scotty Barnes. Those guys are cerebral in the way that they can find cutters. And so if you're a willing cutter, it just helps your game. Playing with guys like that will help your game. Uh, and that's why, like, partially, I think Bruce Brown looks so good ne next to Nikola Jokic because Nikola Jokic is, like, the best player to play with if you're a great cutter. Uh, and so his willingness was shown off to the point where he got a two-year, $23 million per year contract. And so Ochai has a way to make his living in this league doing this. Obviously, the three-point shot is something that we'll have to develop. He was one for six tonight. He hit his first one. It was an above the break three. Uh, looked good, looked in stride. He kind of had to take his time with it, but obviously that's something that is going to come. It's interesting to me that Darko Ryakovich said 
inevitably, that he doesn't really care about the three-point shot. He's more focused on the other side. It's defensively being able to get stops, being a good point of attack defender, helping, you know, help side defense, being this bigger guy, playing up in positions defensively. Obviously, that's something that they'll look for him to do this season. And also the cutting, and also the screening, and also the finishing. And so I'm trying to make this comp here in a way that is not disrespectful to what Ochai can do. Because I think there is more potential for Ochai to become a better three-point shooter, to become a better defender than Bruce Brown is. But at the same time, I think that is a good streamline pathway for Ochai to get minutes so that he can stay on the floor and so that he can work on the other aspects of his game, like the shooting. And so if he can excel as a cutter, if he, if he can excel as a screener and a rim runner, then the world is his oyster here in the Raptors offensive ecosystem. I'm really, really happy with what we've seen from Ochai Abaji, especially because, man, he got ragged on in summer league. <laughs> and a lot of people were not happy with his performance. Obviously, you know, second year player, third year player, and you're expecting him to kind of take that leap in summer league, look like he's way above his competition. Uh, it seems to me, though, that he's the type of guy who kind of needs things set up for him. That's fine. You can survive and thrive in the NBA like that, but you also need to be in an ideal situation. I do think the Raptors and their offensive ecosystem is the ideal situation for a guy like Ochai Baji. That being said, y'all, there were some highlight plays in this one. Oh, there were some highlight plays in this one, and we got to break those down too. So the Raptors run a double drag screen for Scotty Barnes, and he takes it, takes the bump, bumps Jalen Wilson off his spot, and look at where he launches from for this dunk. It is Giannis-esque. It is Giannis-esque. I'm not comparing the man to Giannis and to the Kumpo, but there is only other one. One other player in the NBA. Okay, maybe Wemby. Wemby is the other player who can do this. There's only two other players in the NBA that can do that play right there. It is Giannis and Tanakumpo. It is Victor Wembanyama. The launch point, where he took the bump, where he was able to kind of finish through contact, being the ball handler in that situation. That is just incredible work from Scotty Barnes. And to build on that, he just looks excellent in the pick and roll right now, rejects the screen, steps through and finishes. And folks, if you haven't yet, if you haven't yet, Samson Folk has written a great piece on Scotty Barnes's pick and roll, how he's mastering it through playmaking, how he's really weaponizing that through his passing ability, and how it's opened up the opportunities for him to develop on the offensive end. Go read it if you want. He has a video essay coming up about it as well, so you should check that out also if you would like to. The other highlight plays. So I thought Grady Dick had a great defensive performance. Just great activity on the perimeter. Realizes that Mobo is going to get blown by here. Steps up. Gets the block on Dennis Schroeder. As we expected, a chase down block here from Grady Dick. And that also includes a putback dunk that he had. He had a and one finish in transition as well. And so there are these athletic plays that you see from Grady Dick that excites me it makes me so excited and it's interesting because Darko Ryakovich mentioned in one of his press conferences that Grady Dick is more than just a shooter and that he actually notices some of the athletic changes that are happening within his body right he said that he could barely dunk before but now he's getting up and making more athletic plays and we're seeing that through this preseason his finishing ability has been really really unique not just in transition when there's like a one-on-one -on -one opportunity but he's getting in there through traffic, barreling in the cuts and being able to finish and finesse, but also being able to finish over top in transition through contact. That is impressive stuff from Grady Dick. And so we're done with the preseason, y'all. Now it's time to watch the real games. And like how much we can take away from the preseason compared to what we're actually going to watch over the next 82 games when teams are scouting for you, you're dealing with the real rotation of whatever team you're facing. How much do we actually see of everything that we've seen, right? Scotty Barnes has looked excellent in his last two games. Looks like he's taking another leap, more assertive, more dominant on both sides of the ball, truthfully, right? Grady Dick looks like he's being more assertive. He took, I believe, over 13 shots today. He took over 13 shots yesterday. 
especially with RJ Barrett out, he's giving he's getting more opportunity in these situations. And honestly, offensively, he's he's making the most of it. We'll see how that looks on the defensive end as the season progresses, but it looks like he's taken a major step on the offensive end, but how much of a step? Emmanuel quickly is just coming in, so we got to figure out what, you know, steps and leaps he's going to take, but Ochai Baji looks like a very useful player that will be impactful off of the bench. Jamal Shedd might be in the Raptors rotation, and the Raptors 905 doesn't start until November 9th, so there's about two weeks of basketball in which I bet you Jamal Shedd will be a part of the rotation. He will play a part of the Raptors rotation, and maybe he goes off and he plays with the 905, but I expect him to go double duty. Play with the 905, yeah, at 3 o'clock, come back, you got a Raptors game at 7 o'clock. Maybe they don't do that all the time with Shed, but I do think that he might become a mainstay part of their rotation. Davion Mitchell seems like he makes sense in the Raptors ecosystem. He's looked good as a playmaker, look good in bench units, look good next to Emmanuel Quickly tonight. So there's a world in which he works, and, and he could be a very, very proactive part of the Raptors bench. We haven't seen much Kelly Olenek, but you, know, you could see how that would work with a guy like Kelly off of the bench as well. Yaka Pertle has looked great. He's just been superb and ties everything together. He's the glue. I, again, I've written about this. It'll be out on Saturday afternoon. You can read it if you'd like. But truthfully, like he's set for a career year, I think. And so when you look at all this, when you look at the Raptors, it's hard not to get excited. It's hard not to feel enthused by what you can see. Um, and truthfully, like I'm just ready for real basketball to start. You know, uh, it, it's just real NBA basketball games that matter type of thing. I, I'm just excited for it. And I'm excited for the Raptors to kind of develop and figure things out. I mentioned this in the first preseason game, but just sort things out and see how they look. Folks, the preseason is done. Let the real games begin. Uh, subscribe to the Raptors Republic YouTube channel if you can. Like this video so it could get to other people if you would like. If you like the new setup. I did clean a little bit, you know? I added this little basketball with the little hat. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know if you like the hat. If you got to this point of the video, let me know if you like the hat, okay? Comment, let me know if you like the hat. Okay, peace out. See you guys later. Bye-bye.